Alright, we're going to be ranking all the S1 Lifer helmet colorways. They're all the same helmet, so I'm just ranking them based on their colorway, how versatile their colorway is, what it says about them, and uh, let's do it. First up, we have the black or white, just all black, all white helmet. Uh, this is a safe, safe option uh, to go with this one. Uh, it's probably a little too safe. It's all function and barely any form whatsoever. It, it's not offensive at all, but uh, it's, it's not great. We're going to go C tier on the all black or all white helmet. Next up, we have the matching S1 logo to the matching strap. Now for this one, uh, there's a lot of different options you can go with. They give you tons of different ones. They could do the orange, the purple, you could do the pink, a lot of different ones. What this reminds me of though, is like when you see people, you, they take their sneakers and their outfit and they choose like the, you know, they have like a shoe that's like all white and orange and then they choose the rest of the items in their outfit to just match exactly those colors. Always looks really bad. So for the matchy matchy helmet, that's going to go D tier. Next helmet we're going to do is the glitter colorway. Uh, the glitter colorway, I think it comes in like three options. Yeah, you can go silver, you can go, what is this, gold, or you can do red glitter. Overall, this is a, uh, this is a, this is our first kind of venture into the more adventurous territory. It is just one more step beyond all black or all white, just barely adventurous, uh, but I respect it. That is a B tier helmet. All right, next up, we're getting into the juicier territory. We're going with the checkerboard stripes. This is uh, starting to uh, show a little personality. The checkerboard stripes guy is a uh, little punk rock, little rock and roll here. The checkerboard stripe guy is always uh, trying to find a way to work metal music into the edit, but nobody skating is ever gnarly enough to really warrant it. Checkerboard stripes is also B tier with the Goldie. Next up, we've got the green helmet. The green helmet goes in D tier, where the green is. Red, that is, red helmet it is gonna go S tier. And the blue uh, doesn't really have a spot. Uh, blue is gonna go, a, we're just gonna, we're gonna er, work out that symmetry and get that B tier going. That's nice, I like that. Next up, we have the watermelon helmet. The watermelon helmet is an S1 classic. If you're rocking the watermelon helmet, you're the funny guy. You're a good time. You know, when that watermelon guy got the helmet, the watermelon helmet, he just couldn't wait to hit the next session with all the boys and they could all see how funny his helmet was. Watermelon helmet is a classic. We're gonna go A tier on the watermelon helmet. Next up is the cotton candy helmet, all pink and blue. It's a pretty good look in all honesty. I could see it being rocked with all black and looking real nice. The cotton candy helmet's gonna go A tier. The jelly bean helmet is completely restrained based on your age. If you're under 12 and you're rocking the Jelly Bean helmet, it's solid, it's really good. In fact, if you're under 12 and you're not rocking the Jelly Bean helmet, you're doing yourself a disservice. If I see a microgram rocking this, that's S tier. If you're over 12 and you're rocking the Skittles look, it's not working, the sarcasm's not really there. And that would be D tier. I'm gonna be optimistic on this one and assume that we're working with a young microgram, we're looking at S tier for the Skittles helmet. Now this one's gonna be controversial, but my opinion on the rainbow swirl is overall negative. The full traditional tie-dye look with all the different colors of the rainbow in it has so many colors that whatever you're wearing with the rest of your outfit is always gonna clash with it. If you like traditional tie-dye, you're just gonna disagree with me. But I think pretty much all traditional tie-dye with all the colors looks bad and that includes the Byron wheels. Sorry. Tie-dye helmet is gonna go D tier for me. Black and white tie-dye, on the other hand, is in a different category. We're not rocking any colors whatsoever. Now, this is for the slightly more hesh skater, but also the slightly more sad skater. If one of your friends is rocking the black and white tie-dye helmet, you need to check up on them. Black and white tie-dye is a B tier look. Next up, we have the Stars helmet on black. The Stars Helmet on Black is another subtly good one. In similar vein as the Cotton Candy Helmet, it's a good looking design. The Stars Helmet might have to be my next helmet. Gonna go A tier. The Black Camel Helmet might not actually be a skater wearing that. That might actually be an Airsoft kid. The person who has the Black Camo Helmet probably also has seen Black Hawk Down like six times and they probably own a backpack with tactical straps on it. Black Camo Helmet is gonna go C tier. Green camo helmet is in the same way as the Skittles helmet, 
going to be a child only helmet. This, however, in differentiation from the Skittles helmet is going to be a different kind of kid. This is that pretty wild kid who can't stop running everywhere. Very crazy energy on them. And they pretty much survived the whole session off of peach rings. Green camo as a design goes B tier for me. Rose gold helmet is for the fancy lads out there. If you have the rose gold leopard print, you probably own some finger jewelry, maybe a little skinny chain necklace. And I bet your algorithm has a lot of get ready with me videos. Rose gold helmet is going to go C tier. The traditional leopard print is not quite the fancy lad like rose gold is. The traditional leopard print is going to be the person who chooses Kesha on the way up the hill. Maybe also pop country music. This person is pretty loud and is usually responsible for blowing the spot. The tan leopard print is a classic in the S1 categories. Going to go A tier. Red and white stripes on black. A pretty traditional look, goes very hard in the S1 lineup. I think that most of this though comes from the fact that a lot of people who have worn this helmet have also gone very hard. It's a pretty good look and because of its history with the S1 brand, we're going to go S tier for the red and white stripes on black. This next helmet is pretty offensive in color, this baby blue with this pretty awful logo here. I need to see who, I don't know who this is. I need to see whose helmet this is. This is one of those collab ones. They have a few of these. This one is the Raymond Warner. I don't know who that is. I've never heard of them. Raymond Warner is, wow. Well, the helmet is better than this shirt, for sure. These jer jerseys, my bad, my bad. This, oh, it's like a scooter brand. Ooh, it's a rough looking scooter brand too. Yeah, D tier for the Raymond Warner Baby Blue. Pretty bad one. All right, the last helmet on here goes crazy. We've got the lit scooter look. I gotta pull this one up. This is, this one is nuts. The level of irony, the only issue is that I feel like the level of irony almost goes too far. If you just said lit, I'd be way more into it. I think this would be one of the craziest S1 helmets on here. This thing goes really hard, but I think it might tip the scale just a little too far with the actual scooter logo on there. I'm sure that they're not trying to be ironic with their uh, collab, but because of that, it just falls a little short of that legendary S tier status. We're sitting A tier on that one. Okay, that's all of them.